Example 5 says when a living organism dies, its carbon-14 decays. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. What that means is, uh, okay, something dies, it starts losing carbon. That means after 5,730 years, it loses half its carbon. That's what a half-life is. It is how long does it take for you to lose half of uh, whatever? So carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years, so the amount of carbon-14 remaining after or at time t is given by, so none of that matters pretty much. They give you the equation. The amount of carbon remaining is given by this, m of t, where t is the time, equals p, where p is the mass, times 0.5 to the t divided by 5,730. Where p is the mass of carbon-14 that was present initially. So let me write that down. M of T equals, we'll keep listening, quit talking to Cody and I learn some more. P times 0 0.5. We're talking right now. No. Okay. Raise the T divided by 5,730th power. Again, let me go through and explain what it means. The amount of carbon remains. Okay, when something dies, it starts losing carbon. Okay, M of T. M is going to tell you how much is left after T years. So after one year, M tells you how much is left. After two years, M is how much is left. To where P is how much you start with. That's, that's where the stuff in this equation means. P is what you start with. T is the number of years. M is what you have left. So on this problem, it says... Um, so it says the function M can be used to determine the age of fossils. The skeleton of a mastodon has lost 45% of its original carbon. And this kind of goes, Brittany, that problem that we talked about the other day about do you not need to know uh, how much you're investing? This is the same type of problem. You really don't need to know how much it started with. Uh, but it's, it's lost 45%, so people struggle with this. If it's lost 45%, how much does it have left? 55% left. 55% of what it started with. If it started with P, it has left 55% of that. Correct? 55% of P. So that's how much it has now. Started with P, has 55% left. How do you write that, 55% of P? 0.55 P. Okay. Okay. With me? So that's how much is left. 0.55 P. Correct? We're solving the equation. You might look at it and say, but you've still got two unknowns. You can still solve it. Because notice you've got P times on this side. You've got times P on this side. How do you move the P over? You divide by P. What's going to happen when you divide by P? It cancels both of them. So you have the equation 0.55 equals 0 0.5 raised to the T over 5,730th power. This is just giving you some word problems to, to use what, we just, what we've been working on. We can solve that equation looks nasty and, and I told you anytime it looks nasty change forms uh, you want to help me change forms on this log base careful because it's flipped around from what it normally is log base 0.5 of see that looks a whole lot better T over 5730 because we know what this is you can type that straight in your calculator so log base point log of 0.5 Log base 0.5 of 0.55. Type that in, somebody. Well, I've got mine right here. Log 0.55 divided by log 0 0.5. 0 0.862. Uh, so you have 0 0.862 equals T divided by 5730. How do you get T by itself? So all you got to do is times 5730. Enter. So 4,942 T equals 4,942 years. Let's go back and because in these type problems there's so much work involved. Once you get the answer, you're like, okay, what in the world does that mean? You know, what did I even find? So go back to what it actually asked. Uh, when with, when it dies, it loses. Blah blah blah. Uh, the skeleton of mastodon has lost 45% of its original carbon. When did the mastodon, mastodon die? It died that many years ago. Okay, it died. That's that's how long it took to lose 45% of its carbon. Example six. 
Nearly done. Y'all y'all hang with me. Maybe we're gonna go. Example six says that four thousand dollars is invested at seven percent interest, compounded monthly, and how many years will the investment be worth ninety five hundred dollars? Here's your formula. This is the section we skipped was how to use these formulas. Uh, hopefully you remember from last year, but here's the different pieces and what they mean. A is how much interest or how much money you have now. P is how much money you invested to start with. T is the time that your money was invested, how long it was invested, and N, uh, well, R's interest rate. Does anybody remember what N was? It's how many times your money was compounded each year where uh, what compounding means is, uh, okay, they stop, they say, okay, let's, let's take the interest, let's put it back with the money. And then, then you, it goes a little bit further. Then they stop and they say, take the interest now, put it back with the money, and then it goes further. So that's, that's called compounding interest. So that would be since it is compounded monthly, it's compounded 12 times a year. So N is 12. So let's take your formula. And again, all this is is, is just... Uh, practice for uh, solving equations and it tells you each piece of the formula it says okay four thousand dollars is to be invested uh, at seven percent per year so four thousand is invested what's that the P you invest four thousand dollars at an interest rate of did you see the so point zero seven you've already said is compounded twelve times a year so the N is twelve and we want to make how much Nine thousand five hundred. Yeah, y'all try to stay with. Me. So now we're just solving this equation. Easy. From here on out, if you understand, um, if you understand all this about logarithms changing forms, this isn't too bad. We can move our four thousand over. So ninety five hundred divided by four thousand. Two point three seven five. So you have two point three seven five equals. 1 to the, we can add all that together, just clean it up, 0.07, that's not a 7, divided by 12. 1 plus that would be 1.0583 raised to the 12t power. Once you get to this point, once you cannot clean anything else up, that's when you start uh, changing forms. Change forms for me. equals, so then it's just calculator work. Type this into your calculator. Log of 2.375 divided by log of 1.853 and then divided by 12. Any questions? And that's how many years it's going to take for your entry, or for your uh, money to go from 4,000 to 9,500, which I'm kind of curious. Log of 2.375, which is up there, 2.3 Seven five divided by log one point zero five eight threes, and then divided by twelve. One point is that right? Something was wrong there. One point twenty seven. That's what I was looking at. Did we switch it right? The log of base this of this power equals this. That's right. Well, I mean, still, we're going for 4,9500. I'll go back and examine it later. But, but y'all see the steps. The steps is, is right. That's what you need to know. 